I made 1,000 planters and planted 1,000 bushes. And it almost broke my game. Uh, I was doing this for a test. Just because I made a video about sustainable farming in Sunken Land. And while lemons and strawberries are potentially, it's like 50 to 51%. It's not much. They're potentially sustainable in farming. I wanted to see if bushes were, and I didn't think 100 was going to be enough. Because a lot of you have said that people have been struggling with sustainability of wood and getting bush seeds and stuff from those plants. So I made this test, making 1,000 planters, and you'll get to enjoy the nice little uh, montage of me making them and then planting everything into them. I was going to do a montage of cutting this down, but it's been three days, and I can't. I'm only up to here, and it's just endless. I can't cut it all down. I'm sick of trying. It's driving me nuts. So yeah, before we get into all the montages and the data that I've got from what I have cut down, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on for future videos on Sunken Land, Grounded, than so many more things. It's going to be a good time. It significantly struggles. Sunken Land significantly struggles to load in now. I, it's, it's bad. It... It takes a couple minutes to fully load in now. Um, I've collected as much as I possibly can. That stuff has respawned. I have glitched this and made more infinite wood glitches, which is ridiculous. But yeah, I'm going to throw those montages in right here. So enjoy the time lapse. Now, here's the data. One, you get a ton of wood. Four sticks per bush is a lot. Okay, all of these are full. I have not been collecting everything. I've tried. It's it's a freaking nightmare. This is what I've got. And let's go count how many, of the, how many of these there are. I would say I've cut down about 400 of the 1,000 bushes. And it took three days. I've been going to work. I've been doing all sorts of stuff. And... Yeah, it was bad. So I've cut down, let's say, 400. It'd be pretty close to that. Maybe a little bit over. Let's say 420. We've got one, two, three hundred and forty, three hundred and fifty-one. 351. 420 bushes, 351 seeds. 
this is not going to be the way to get sustainable wood on your island but i have a solution i do have a solution depending on where you build okay it's the same as the rest of the resources on here if you can chop it down it does respawn okay you are just gonna need to not break the entire thing so we're gonna do three hits i don't go more than three on pretty much anything i even do two on like some things because i don't trust it you never know when it's gonna break to gain some of the resources from that that's going to be more sustainable than farming trees i did a big test i could not follow through on all 1000 it's too freaking many it is just too many it was so annoying and i got so frustrated trying to cut them down because you just it doesn't work anyway farming is mostly sustainable Farming is mostly sustainable in Sunken Land, but not for this. Currently for cotton, lemons, and uh, cottons. Currently for cotton, lemons, potatoes, and strawberries, it is. For bushes, it is not. You are going to have to go and get that. However, wood respawns on islands anyway. It just takes a couple of days for trees to start respawning. Or save loading. Potentially can get them to spawn as well. I've had that happen a few times. So pick a good place. Go to Little Rock Island. It's really good. But yeah. Uh, well, Small Rock Island. Go there. It's pretty decent. I hope this video is helpful. It's uh, It's been a grind. Don't, don't do this. Don't do it. It's a mistake. Huge mistake. Bye.